Okay, this is Jaeger. Um, he just had his bath and he's been fluffed out. Uh, I'm going to show you how to band. I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way, but this is what I have to do with his hair, as you can tell. He's got quite a bit of it here. Um, so I'm just going to do this and show you what I do. I go, I start my first band from the corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye. And you want to make sure that you get this straight as you can because it makes it less itchy for them when it's really straight. And I love this Chris Christensen comb. It works really well for the parting. So then I'll take this comb kind of to keep that out of my way. I'll make sure I've got all of his hair up in here. And then I like these really thick bands. Um, they're for wrapping. And I come from the back to kind of keep it backwards at a backwards angle. And you don't want to wrap it too tight around there, but you also don't want it so loose that it falls out. Um, so I usually do about four or five times. And then I will pull this looser and I'll make sure that I can feel that it's not pulling tight because if it's pulling tight, then they're just gonna rub that. So then when I get that band in, I'll make sure that I have all this out of the way. I'm gonna take that piece of hair again and I'm gonna come just a little bit up the coat and I'm going to put another band, making sure not to get any of the hair back here in it. And again, you don't want that too tight, just tight enough to kind of hold it. And I'm just gonna do that the whole way up. About equal distance with each one. Put one more on the end here. So then my next section, I'm going to pull this back so I can see what I'm working with. And I'm going to take just a, you know, just a tiny little bit here with how much hair he has. If they've got less coat, I think you could probably take a bigger section, but he's got so much it's hard. And you don't want your sections to be so big that they just waller them. And he's really good at wallering. That's why he can't have wraps. <laughs> okay, so once you've got your section pulled up here, I'm going to take my comb, make sure it's all in there. And then same thing, you don't want it too tight. You're going to take your, your bands you're going to wrap it around there a couple times, being careful to not get any other hair mixed in with there. So then I'm going to make sure that nothing is pulling. I kind of twist it back and forth, pull it to the sides and make sure it's not too tight. See, it's really not, not tight there. And I'm going to do the same thing as this front band. Put even sections all the way up. Keeping all that other hair out of there. And wraps really are better, um, but he is a really clown-like dog, and he thinks the crinkling is absolutely hilarious, and he likes to dive upside down onto the couch and crinkle them as much as possible, so he does not get wraps on the top of his head. Okay, so I'm going to take this front and this second one, and I'm going to band them together so that this doesn't hang down like a unicorn horn. 
Um, so I just kind of take it and I make sure that I'm not pulling it so tight that it's now pulling it tight. Um, you want it, you know, loose or you're going to kind of defeat the purpose of making sure they were loose when you put them up. And I just band them together. And again, not so tight that they're going to break the coat, but tight enough that it's going to hold it when he's running around and playing. So then I'm going to part out another section here. About the same distance here again. And always making sure you're getting it as even as possible. And having a little head pillow, you know, and teaching them to keep their head on a head pillow really is very, very helpful. Because as you can tell, he's not squirming around and I sprayed a little bit of Pro Grow because it's very staticky and dry. So it's kind of sticking to the back of my hand. So I I like the Pro Grow because it doesn't condition the coat so much that it softens it, but it does add moisture. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this band as I've been doing with the other ones. I'm gonna make sure it's not too tight. it the whole way up. And that helps keep the coat protected when you band it the whole way up. Especially when your dog's a heathen like mine. And you can band this into these um, front bands if you want. I don't. Um, he, you know, they usually stay pretty well. Um, but I've seen, you know, people band this into this as well, or band this one into the next one. Um, that's just kind of a matter of opinion, I think. And I don't do it, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take another section again. So I'm going to take pretty much from right here in the front of the ear. I'm going to take this in an equal section as what I have in front. He's got more hair here, so it makes it a little harder sometimes to get it parted out. You got to be careful so you don't break it when you're doing that. I'm going to straighten up my line here. When you mist the coat, make sure that you've got um, you know, a squirt bottle that you're familiar with that you're not going to just soak the coat because you don't want it to be wet when you put it in these bands um, or else it can mildew in there. So you always want to make sure the coat is 100% dry when you put it up um, or else you're going to have a really icky problem. So I'm going to even kind of tug on the ears and make sure that that's not so tight that when his ears move that it, it's pulling because that's just going to be itchy and that's going to give him a reason to dig at it. And I'm just doing the same thing as the ones in front. Equal distance, not too tight. And these bands that I'm using, they are from Color Coordinated Canine. Um, you can Google that and find it, and they've got a lot of colors and, and fun stuff like that. And I really, I like them. Um, there's other brands that I'm sure is, are equally as good. This is just what I use. Oops, sorry. Okay. And I usually just do one more um, past this, so I'm going to go ahead and I kind of usually, how I do it over the ears is I'll just grab a section of hair 
and gently, I know it probably looks like I'm being rough, but I'm not. I'll just kind of gently comb that back before I then try to part it out. And you can do this as far down the neck as you want to do this. Um, if I go any farther than this, though, he will, again, just like the wraps, dig and play with it. And he's got a non-actually related, quote unquote, brother that they roughhouse really rough. And if I give him something to hold on to, then he will not have any neck coat left. Again, make sure it's not too tight. And I found too, the smaller the sections that you do, the more likely they're going to be to leave them alone. Um, just makes them not bother them as bad has been my experience. One more at the top. And that is how I band Jaeger's hair.